Many things can contribute to our not approving our dreams, our not feeling good enough. A lot of things can contribute to that. Many of us never live up to our potential or don't approve ourselves because we never had anybody to believe in us. Looking at some of the things that keep us from approving ourselves, that we've all done some things that we don't feel good about. Things that if we had to do those things over again, we would not do those things, or we would do things differently. So part of what we must do in order to begin to move into your greatness, you got to remove a major energy block. And that is dealing with the issue of forgiveness. People that have hurt you, someone who's done you wrong, make a list and things that you have done that you you feel bad about that you regret make a list there may be a time when you weren't a good father or a good mother or a good brother or sister or you you were a bad child or you didn't do a good job or you lied or you were dishonest or you stole no one knows this but you or something you feel good about so you know there's a real dog in me to do that something you just really regret. So we make a list of all those things. All of us have some of that. You might say there's some good in the worst of us and some bad in the best of us. So none of us escape. Now here's something I want you to do. I want you to become involved in an active process to get some clutter out of your life. So if there's any area in your life that you need to clean up, there's some people who are cluttering up your life. They serve no purpose whatsoever. They're just holding and occupying the space that somebody useful, positive, nurturing, and contributing could be holding that space. You don't even have time to look to see what else is out there because you all have all of these people surrounding you that's not in enabling you to grow. So look at what is it I need to get out of my life. Just start cleaning this stuff out. See, whatever you have in your environment is a reflection of your consciousness. So you got all that chaos there. That represents some disorganized, cluttered section of your mind. So let's get all that out of there, all right? Work to get that out, clean that up. Anybody that you feel very strongly about, have some negative feelings about, let's look at some good reasons to forgive them. Number one, you must try and see what has happened or see things from that other person's point of view. Let's look at it from their point of view. That's, that's one area. That's number one. Then number two, Holding a grudge hurts you, it doesn't hurt them. So just for good health and peace of mind, let it go. Any feeling of resentment or anger or hatred is called to me the load of bitterness within. Every thought that we entertain produces a chemical in our brain that impacts the body's immune system. And besides, this person you're hating, they probably are not even aware of it. Don't even know you're really hating them. You've turned up the steam. Gone from dislike to hate, intense hate. And here you are killing yourself, making yourself vulnerable to various types of illnesses, putting yourself in bad health. And I say that person is not worth your sacrificing your health or one minute of peace of mind. One minute of anger robs you of 60 seconds of happiness. So decide it doesn't matter. Let it go and experience the dignity and the magnanimous sense of character of being big enough to move on and get on with your life. Letting it go so you can grow. See, we, all of us have greatness within us. But when you don't come to grips with your greatness and you don't work to develop it, if you're not seeking it out, if you're not finding where it is, if you're not trying to locate it, if you're not experimenting with your life to try and find out what fits for you, I'm saying that you're positioning yourself to be a miserable person, an unfulfilled person. How else do we do it? Procrastination. We just put things off over and over and over again. Why? Because we haven't accepted it. We don't feel deserving. We don't feel that we're good enough. So we sabotage ourselves by not ever taking care of business. We get real busy doing a lot of things where we don't have any time. We start doing so many things, we just give our time away until we don't have any time for ourselves or any time to do the things that we want to do. And every time you put it off and move it back, oh, I'll do it one day, oh yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm saying to you that one day you look around 
and there goes a year, there goes two years, there goes three years. So is there something you want to do? Do it now. Do it right now. Don't put it off. Start right now where you are. There will never be a perfect ideal time. Whatever you have going for you right now, that's enough. Work on that idea. Work on it. Work on it. Work on it.